guys, welcome back to Empowering. I'm Caroline Porter Thomas. Thank you so much for joining me. So this video is for my high school students. So once you decide that you want to be a nurse, um, the earlier you can start preparing yourself, the better off you will be and the easier it will be down the road and the more doors will be open to you down the road. So let me give you some tips of things that you can do um, in order to prepare for this exciting but very challenging journey that you have ahead for you. Um, the first thing is you must take courses, classes in high school that are going to prepare you for college. And obviously you have to take English and Arts, so that's pretty much a requirement. Um, take as much algebra as possible because algebra is something that actually we use as nurses on the job every single day. And it's really, guys, it's that basic algebra. Like just a little side note, just the other day I had to calculate a heparin drip, which is a medication to prevent blood clots. And I use basic algebra to calculate the weight. So, I mean, this is something that we do use every day, and um, obviously it varies from unit to unit, but it is something that will help you um, later down the road. Also, um, obviously, you know, take as many maths as possible because the, the better you are in the math and sciences, the, you know, the more marketable you are to all of the colleges that you're applying to. So make sure you do a lot of geometry, biology, and chemistry. Um, other courses that I would recommend, if pos if you have it um, in your in your high school, is physics. Obviously, you probably have like psychology and speech, um, foreign language. Most of the schools do require two years of foreign language. Um, most universities, anyways. And also, if your if your high school has an anatomy physiology class, do whatever it takes to to, to get in that class because. First of all, it's fascinating, and second of all, like, you know, we're working with the human anatomy, so you have to know this later down the road. Um, strive to get into AP classes, if possible, because that will make you much more marketable to colleges. Um, AP classes are a lot harder, so if you can do well in AP class, then you will do well in college. It's almost just a hands down, if that's the case. Also, guys, listen, you've got to strive for a 4.0. You need to make sure your GPA is so high. Guys, even though there is a nursing shortage, that does not mean that, you know, that that it is easy to get into nursing school. It's actually very hard to get into nursing school. And the problem that we do have in nursing shortages, there's a lot of people that are interested in it, but the problem is that it's very hard to train a nurse. And um, so there's not really enough schools and enough professors, so um, getting into nursing school is very competitive, probably a lot more competitive than it needs to be, but you know, it's, it's just the way it is right now. Okay, so um, nursing programs are very rigorous, you know, like, and you, if you can develop really good time management skills, you know, in high school, you will just be so much, so much better off. If you can develop very good study habits and very good time management um, skills, It'll just it'll pay off huge dividends in the future. Um, also, this is exciting to do while you're in high school, and I would encourage you to do this as early as possible. But visit the schools that you're interested in. Look around at schools where you think you might want to go, and visit that school. And it's it's very exciting to do that. So I, I highly recommend that. Also, find out as soon as possible what their entrance requirements are. Do they require the SATs or the ACTs? And what are their minimum scores for that? And obviously you want to try for the maximum score, you know? You want to get the highest highest grade or highest score possible on the ACT, highest score possible on that SAT. And guys, listen, as soon as you find out which test is required, get the study book ASAP. Just go to Amazon.com, type in ACT prep, SAT prep, and go through that book with a fine tooth comb. And also, if you can, if you can take a prep class, that, that's the best too. Like, you need to be able to get really good test taking skills. And the only thing that will help you with test taking is to study. You know, like, a lot of these questions are pretty simple, but it's like a lot of things that you can like forget. But if you just review it, you'll be much better off. Um, oh, also, apply to multiple schools. Guys, don't put all your eggs in one basket. Apply to at least five schools. That should be your minimum. Apply to more if, if you can. Um, you, you never know which school is going to offer different things. I mean, you know, you might be surprised at, at the offers that you get from schools. And some of them might help with tuition reimbursement. Some of them 
or my well tuition assistance so just you know don't 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 close any doors just make sure you open as many doors as possible um, so random things that you can do is to um, volunteer volunteering is a super super good thing that any high school student can do and volunteering at a hospital or a nursing home looks so good on your resume guys listen colleges are looking for well-rounded students. So what do you have to do to be a well-rounded student? One, you have to get good grades. Very, very good grades. I can't strive that enough. Work really hard. If you guys work really hard, it will pay off so much in, so much in your future. Guys, take it from me. I did not work very hard in high school. I graduated with bar barely a B average. It was actually a 2.9, so technically that's a C average. And um, it, it, was, it was a lot harder for me in college. And I was in classes with high school students, you know, doing dual enrollment. And, you know, I have to give it to them. They worked really hard and, you know, it paid off for them. So just, just work really hard. Don't do what I did. <laughs> um, but if you did, you know, obviously it worked out for me. So don't worry if you're already past the high school stage. Like, it's not all, all gone. You can still become a nurse just like me. Um, okay. Another thing that well-rounded students do are they, they belong to um, clubs, math clubs, science clubs. You know, obviously if you can do something in the math and sciences, if you want to be a nurse, it's going to help you out a lot more. If you can be around people that are really good in math, really good in sciences, I mean, it's just, they'll help you. You know, it, it, they'll give you, they'll teach you like their study techniques and everything. So just get around these people that are, are you know, headed for more in life. Um, also. So I, I mentioned volunteering, but that's another thing that well-rounded students do. Well-rounded students are busy, and that's how, you know, if you can do all of this, if you can multitask all of these things and still maintain this high GPA, that's what colleges are looking for. So guys, I am so excited, and I just have to tell you guys, I get so many emails from high school students, and I just cannot get over how intelligent you guys are. So, you know, keep up the good work, and anyways... I hope you enjoy this video and I will talk to you soon. Love you guys. Bye.